hey what's up guys welcome again to another video so on this video we are going to talk how we can have what we call continuous integration and continuous deployment using Django and cPanel so if you're new to this channel please consider subscribing liking and sharing this content so we want to reach 1000 subscribers please help us do so and without further words let's get started so if you haven't watched the other video on how to deploy Django on cPanel please go and watch it because this is just a continuation on where we ended so as you as you know we deployed our project to cPanel and this was our project it's just a simple email signature and now we want to deploy this project in such a way that we can just have we just need to have to write our code on VS Code and then after pushing it to GitHub, we should see some changes to our website, whether it's just a website or any other application. Okay, as you all remember that we had our, our project folder, which we called it Deploy, and inside Deploy we had our project test site and we had our app and our static files. So here we are just going to make some few modifications and these modifications are going to be reflected to our GitHub. So here we just need to we just need to add another we need to add another folder here and this folder we are going to call it dot github and then Inside dot GitHub, we are going to add another folder again. We are we are going to call it workflow, workflows, and then inside workflows, we are going to create a file, and this file we are going to name it master. dot yml. Okay, now. So after creating our master.yml, here we're going to use a certain plugin on GitHub. Let us just go to GitHub. If we go to Marketplace here, so let us just search for FTP deploy. Okay, we are going to use this one here. And then uh, we just I'm going to copy this one here you can copy it too and then I'm going to paste it to my VS code here okay uh, I have just made some few modification and some few changes just to save time so here instead of just lighting on I just written that on means on push we are going to select a certain branch and this branch is going to code master so this means that if you're going to push our code or our code should be reflected to master and then we know that if you are pushing the code to master so this master means that this is a production server so our code is going just to go direct to our production so and down below here as you can see we just need to add our server so for my side uh, my server is this one also you have to uh, to add your username and we need to add our server directory so we need to specify where our i mean where our application is going to run once we push the codes or the changes where are these codes or changes be going to be reflected so as you can see here i've kept it is production.cypher.co.tz but I'm going to change a little bit here instead of putting this production to cipher.co.tz as we know where we deployed our Django project on cPanel it was on the so just from our root folder is it was called we called it deploy so this is going to be so all our codes our changes are going to to be reflected inside this folder which is called deploy so as you can see you may also decide to add another maybe you can just call it maybe a staging here a staging dot yml where that all the changes which, which you push to staging should be reflected to, to a certain 
a certain folder but for us let's just keep our files to master this means that all our codes they are going direct to our production server so let us just save this so after saving this let's just make sure that everything is good to go okay everything is good now let us push our code to github it's just simple let's just click here and it does just publish direct to github okay now it's asking us where we want to deploy let us just deploy to public repository and it should be named deploy okay 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 everything is good here now it's pushing our code to github so let us publish here okay good now our code is successful to github let us go to github and see if our code is there Okay, now we have this folder here called deploy. We can just click here. As you can see that all our files are here. Now we want to go to GitHub Actions. As you can see, our first commit had has X here, and you can guess that we have X here. So there is a problem that our code wasn't pushed directly to here. So we want to modify that and this X here is because as you remember from our code we kept here it's called secrets and here we kept uh, the password as secret so we have to modify this because the GitHub should understand now back to github after opening your repository just go to settings then inside settings just go to secrets then actions so here you need to add new repository secret okay now here we just need to put the ftp username so here you need to add your your username okay also we need to add to for the password so add your ftp password and here you need to put your password okay now add okay after adding your secrets let's go back to actions here as you can see here we still have x here we just need to click here on our first commit and then here we need to rerun the job and we need to rerun all jobs okay now it's learning okay now good after some times now our deploy has a tick here so as we go back to our domain this is where we deployed our our code is called staging.cipher.co.tz just see here we are going to make some changes to our vs code let us just instead of a managing director let us call him a ceo and then see if these changes are going to be reflected directly to our website now let's go back to our code here and let us check for let us check for the template it is here template and then it is index.html and then 
here instead of a managing director let us call him uh, our ceo and see if these changes are going to be reflected to our website so let's call our ceo let's save this after saving it as you can see we as you have changes here we need to commit and then what you have to do just is to just enter a message here and, and say maybe we uh, maybe say changing changing position okay now let us commit this code and then let's say yes and then sync our changes now let's go back to github actions here and see what is happening on the action tab now after reflecting we have seen that we have our push here is called changing position and it has a tick here what about our website here let us refresh it oh involved okay we are having a problem here disallowed host involved host staging you may need to add it to all allowed hosts okay just a simple thing we need to allow this let's go to our let us change here to our code from here let's say settings.py settings where is settings settings this the site here and let us look for settings.py here allowed host and then let us put it here star let's use single let's put star here and let us save this and then and then let us push this code again oh put a message say allowing host okay now seeing the changes okay if we go to github actions here you can see that allowing host is still yellow here okay good now we have a tick here and let us try to refresh our website okay after refreshing we see now good now we have our changes have been reflected to our website as you see that we had here our managing director and now it's called our ceo so guys this is how you can you can do our CICD on cPanel or any shared hosting. So it's just simple. We just need to use the FTP. And please, please subscribe and share this content to others so they can benefit. And hope to see you on another video. Till another day. Bye. Bye.